Hi, my name is uh, Baxter Nacheng. I want to bring to your attention of this uh, new channel that is going to be majoring on uh, quant surveying and construction tutoring majorly. <coughs> Uh, the items which uh, will always be covered on this channel include, among others, bills of quantities, which uh, in other countries they might refer to it in different names, but the one that we want to refer to here is called bills of quantities. What are the necessary items that you need to consider if you want to make a bills of quantity? And what is what is it in the long run what does it really mean when somebody tells you bills of quantities so the definition what it entails and how you can make it for your own especially to the built environment enthusiast then another one is a schedule of labor <coughs> so schedule of labor what it means how you can make that Schedule of materials, program of works, work methodology, uh, construction, supervision, criteria, and uh, considerations if you want to supervise a site, especially when uh, from the uh, quant surveying or a quant surveyor's approach. Then you also have tendering and documentation, the requisites of a tender how to make up a tender then you also have uh, valuation works then uh, entirely construction tutoring so the main reason of uh, converting or let me say diversing the content from the written items to the digital uh, content as it is in this uh, <coughs> in this form is to remain diverse <coughs> And also be able to reach many many audience based on the on the fact that there have been approaches from different students that have been handling especially in different platforms for example uh, teacher teacheron.com which is a platform that is now linking students and also tutors um, one of the tutors on that platform and on that platform, it acts as a link, but then you rarely find <coughs> a direct one-on-one -on -one approaches of teaching as uh, will be done here of uh, pre-recorded videos that are going to be taking you step by step on how to do or handle the items that have been listed herein. So, uh, Another material which is available, but uh, then I'll be providing you with uh, uh, contacts on how you can reach me, get these materials, and enhance, sharpen your skills in matters when surveying, and all that it entails. <coughs> as I have noted as well, that uh, technology is very crucial, and it keeps on changing day in, day out. There are a lot of uh, quant surveying software that are in place and also through this channel you will be able to know how to handle some of which, especially the ones that you consider basic, available to many of people, many people, but then not everyone is able to dig in deep and know how much you can utilize such uh, software. For example, Excel quite a crucial part or a software for a good surveyor that you can put into use to your advantage. You can use it in various ways so well and then you have uh, such a presentable presentable job. As part of this uh, channel videos that will be coming along, <coughs> you'll also be finding in place some of the practical sessions or uh, practical construction steps that are happening real time that will always be uploaded here for you to see how that apart from the uh, theoretical perspectives that you will be uh, viewing or watching from uh, this channel you can also be see practically how they are put 
in place. These sessions will always be a walkthrough of how you handle the items, how you sharpen yourself. For my students, apart from the uh, uh, from the handle or uh, from the platform that I've just uh, talked about, there are those who would wish to reach me so that we have a one-on-one -on -one session, uh, physically or uh, via Zoom, so that we learn an interactive session, which is uh, very much recommended because from there you will be able to learn even deeper of what you are learning here theoretically so we have charges here uh, which in most cases are uh, tailor-made they are uh, custom based on each student and my basis of charging depend on uh, scope of work and also the time of course you understand when the work is more urgent you need to compromise so many things so the charges are a little bit higher than the one that we have a wider uh, range of time and you can handle the work without pressure, so to say. So in that case, <coughs> uh, these are the charges. Uh, normally for my domestic uh, tutoring sessions, I will charge you up to 2,000, um, up to 2,000 for a three hour session, which is uh, quite affordable for most of my students. Yes, and uh, in that manner, we are able to grow together, take in, uh, take in the content, and uh, be able to grow yourself as well in matters of uh, what you understand in uh, quant surveying, as uh, I've noted. So as I've mentioned, uh, that uh, these are some of the items that we'll be going through. So uh, the first one that uh, we'll be going through, unless otherwise, will be uh, concerning the preparation of bills of quantities uh, coming through from the beginning. Uh, that is to say from uh, the first principles taking off. I understand that it has got some uh, finer margins that are easy to forgo or uh, forget in the line of uh, your practice but then now from this uh, given channel you'll be seeing such view so that you keep refreshed on uh, such basic principles of uh, measurement uh, the basic main principle here that we'll be talking about is uh, standard methods of measurement so from here you'll be able to see the breakdown of uh, bit by bit of those uh, crucial sections that are necessary for you to measure accurately and in accordance with the rules also to mention uh, that these rules they are different depending on depending on the country you find that uh, for instance uh, in Kenya you will find that uh, you have uh, standard methods of measurement then uh, there are other regions that are using different ones. For example, there is a uh, new rules of measurements too, which is applicable in different countries. Okay, so such references are the ones which will be guiding our sessions day in, day out, so that as we go along, you understand the main reference, we don't deviate from it, and then we keep track of what is uh, practically right, what is the practice, and how well that practice can be internalized by yourself and you can use it to make yourself uh, better documents, documents that you can understand and will be of help to you. As you understand that uh, some of these uh, items that are mentioned here, not all of them can be well understood by the final consumer of the, these products who are the clients. And that is why we talk about the schedule of labor and schedule of materials, which are basically a further breakdown of the bills of quantities in a form that can be understood by majority, especially to our esteemed clients. So when you make a schedule of material, you are able to show how many 
number of bags of cement for instance you'll need for a given piece of work so in that form it's easier and it's more consumable to the clients and many other guys or people will be hearing the what you're talking about in that form rather than talking about the bills of quantities so in that manner we'll be moving on procedurally from basic a bit technical and then we now get it to more basic and we'll be able to understand each other even better so uh, this being just an introductory uh, video it will just be for you to understand the scope of what to expect from this channel and then uh, further further and more detailed and interesting pieces of videos are going to come along so what you just do is just uh, subscribe and stay tuned wait for it for it can drop any time and as it drops it will be as interesting as it comes thank you